No, 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 kill her, no, no. Zelda is your Zelda is my dots. Uh, remember, I have pink hair. One. Oh wow, this is pathetic. Nintendo Ways 100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we started Victory Road, the final dungeon uh, before the Elite Four, and got about halfway through. Um, as you can see, are you afraid of the dark? I'm not, even though I don't have Flash. So anyway, um, in this episode, we are going to be continuing on through Victory Road and hopefully finishing it up. F and I completely forgot that I um, had this double battle coming up, actually. Um, but oh well. Um, of course. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, Diane and Felix. Not anything extremely interesting. Metacham and Claydol. Okay, not too bad. Um, now something that I... Something... Uh, okay. A topic I was cut off in talking about in the last video, um, was... I wanted to mention, uh, something that I kind of wish they had done a little bit better in Emerald is, I believe, is the character of Wally. Um, I, I like it. I thought it... The idea of Wally's character of like this sickly kid who had to move away, I thought he was a really interesting idea for a character. In my opinion, he seemed like the perfect idea for maybe for once in this Pokemon series, like actually have a character you who hung around with you for a little bit, sort of like um in Diamond Pearl and Platinum, because and sort of like you know, in the show, like where Ash always has a couple like a partner with him, um like a human partner. Um but I, I just thought that would be kind of cool, and I mean, I kind of didn't like how you barely got to battle while you, you get two Wally battles, like, in the main story. I really didn't like that idea. Now, also, okay, something I wanted to mention about this lantern, is you didn't get to see it, of course, um, since I just killed it, but it, um, has the move Earthquake, which you want to be careful for, just in case, because Earthquake, um, is a very powerful move. Um, the fact is, Earthquake cannot be learned by lantern by any means. It can't be learned through egg moves, it can't be learned through level up, it can't be learned through TM in any game, or at least in this game. So, it's kind of weird how it knows that for some reason, but... Anyway, back to the whole topic of Wally. I honestly think that you, we could have had more story development for him and everything, because, like, all we know is, like, okay, we see him catch Pokemon and everything. Okay, woo. He's got a route. I... In my opinion, it made me hate the character for a little bit just because I was really annoyed about having to go all over, like, search, like, all over the place for that stupid route. Um, no, PSI, I don't think you're stupid. You're, like, one of my best team members. Um, but I, I, I just think we could have had, there, there could have been a lot more added to him. Just next time we see him, all of a sudden he's there with his uncle who really isn't that big a deal and Wally's like, oh, I'm doing better. I have a Pokemon. Can I battle you? Oh, I got beat. Oh, well, I'm gonna get better. I'm not gonna see you till the end of the game with a full, and I'll have a almost full team. It's like, well, could we have at least seen the progression of his team? We got to, heck, for crying out, we got to see the progression of May's team. Why didn't we get to see the progression of Wally's team? Um, I mean, I honestly think he could have at least been maybe a second rival, um, to counter out the annoyingness of May, and, okay, this, this, um, trainer right here, as you see right here, I'm trained with every, with, um, together with my whole family, every one of us, I'm not losing to anyone. This character is very interesting, as you will see something about his name that might seem a little bit familiar, um, as you say, his name is Vito, which his, the first two letters of his name are V-I. What other family in the Hoenn region have we seen that had, that everybody's name starts with the letters V-I? The Winstrate family from near Marvel. This is that this is the son that they talk about after you beat them. Um and I honestly thought that was kinda cool. As you saw, he also did mention that um like he trained with his family and everything, so this that's just more confirmation of the fact that this is the kid that they were talking about. I honestly thought that was kind of an interesting little um thing they did where they mentioned something a little minor like that and you actually do get to fight that character. Um Kinda wonder where he gets some of his Pokemon from, though, because of course, if you haven't noticed, quite a few trainers in this dungeon so far have been uh, using some Pokemon that you wouldn't expect. Um, well, actually, no, what, what am I saying? The only one that uh, was really out of the ordinary would, would probably be um, that first trainer in the last video who had, like, the Magneton and Mux, so it made you wonder if he was a Kanto trainer. But anyway, of course, I'm gonna just take out this Kadabra with Shadow Ball real quick. Um, now, also, I wanted to mention, in the last video, there was a. 
I battled a trainer, and then I went across a little patch of water, and then I'm, um, in order, and, well, what am I trying to say? Um, in order to get some, it, okay, if you remember the ladder I went up to, and, to obtain, uh, TM-29, there was that little patch of water I had to cross to get over to that side. There was also a waterfall to the left, where, where, the point that I'm standing on in the overworld right, well, in the dungeon right now, if you go over to the right, that's where that waterfall is, so, um, that's the only, that's the, um, where those two connect, so, you could easily have just come to this section, um, right there, and, better than my family? Is that possible? Dude, we beat them so many videos ago, yes, it's possible. Um, by that point of the game, they're weak. Um, and, okay, a full heal, not too bad. So now what we're gonna want to do is head down this left side waterfall, which is one we passed just a second ago on the way over here to Vito anyway. Um, and as you'll see down here, there is a ladder. Actually, I think there's another ladder over here. Um, yeah, let's see. Let me just check something. Um, yes, there is something important here. Um, the other... there. When I came down that waterfall, if you saw there was, well, if you keep going to the right, there is another platform that has, um, another ladder on it. Well, these two ladders, they link up with each other anyway. I think there was a ledge that separated them in, um, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, and I just now realized how low on power points Freezer is getting. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to switch out and then off, and then, actually... You know, I think after this battle, I might actually just swap him out of the lead, um, because I don't want to be using Red Ice throughout the entire dungeon. Um, he'll get his time to shine, no doubt, but, um, anyway. Um, I believe in Ruby and Sapphire, there was a ledge to separate those two, so that you'd have, you want, if you wanted to get everything, you'd go over one first, uh, and then just make a circle, but I believe they took that ledge out in, in Emerald, at least, and, oh, wow, I mean, just really... Um, helping out this Torkoal a lot. Oh my god. Just a couple videos ago, we were having Soul Rocks getting their, um, revenge, and now Torkoal's getting its revenge. Oh god. And that full restore. Just great. Good thing, I, really good thing I didn't leave Red Ice out there. Well, I guess I could've always poisoned it and stalled out and all, until maybe I actually could, like, I don't know, maybe get an explosion and everything, but, um, don't, don't be holding your breath. I'm, I'm probably, I probably won't Holy crap! Okay, seriously, the thing's got amnesia and iron defense. This is one defensive Torkoal. And, uh, okay, obviously this thing is a staller, no doubt about it. I mean, it's kind of interesting in Victory Road. You finally get to see some trainers actually using some real strategy with this. Um, I honestly wonder, does this thing even have any attacking moves? Um, but I mean, it's got amnesia, it's got iron defense. It's That's pretty good. Um, and it looks like time for Sh Skarmory to come out to take out this Ludicolo. Um, Ludicolo actually is, a, in my opinion, I've used it in the past. Ludicolo is actually a very good Pokemon. Um, it's, a, it's a water grass type. It's, it's a very, it's it's a it's not a it's, yeah. it's not an extremely common typing, but it's very good typing. It has very few weaknesses. Um, and the weaknesses it has, well, one of them being flying, of course, because of grass. Um, water grass. It's one of those typings. It cancels out a lot of each other's weaknesses. Like, for example, the, wa the water type, of course, um, cancels out its fire weakness. Um, the grass type cancels out its electric weakness because due to the water type and everything. So, overall, I think its only weaknesses are bug, poison, and flying, which make it overall an interest. It's a, it's a force to be reckoned with. Um, the only thing I would have to say is you do have to wait a, quite a while for it to really get good because it really really starts to be good once it's a Ludicolo. Only problem is, Lotan Lombre, they can be very weak in the beginning. They're, it's, like, since you can also, you get them on the same route that you could get, um, routes, really, in the game, so it wasn't bad for using against, um, say, uh, Roxanne, but after that, you go for a, quite a while without it being extremely useful, and then, also, okay, right, wait, um, there's a battle right there. After, um, beyond these two, there, that's the ladder that I could have, um, taken up here instead. But, um, like I was saying, um, Ludicolo, it, in, for Lombre to evolve into Ludicolo, it needs a water stone, which obviously, um, it, you can't get evolutionary stones without trading, you cannot get them up till, uh, before you take on, well, before you get the Moss Deep for the first time. And wait a minute, I, I forgot to, um, switch out Regice, so let's see. Um, that should maybe do it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, so, once you evolve Ludicolo, it's good. 
you you can only evolve it kind of late in the game, but it's still good. Um, and if it wasn't good, well, why would Chugger Conrad be using it? <laughs> um, anyway, and oh god, it's Return of the Solo Rock, dear god, no! But anyway, thankfully that did take out um, the Save Y, so... Um, that's that. I'm trying to think of uh, another thing to talk about. Huh. Well. Ooh, Absol! Um, I guess I might as well just be giving my, some of my opinions on something. I might as well just use Toxic for once in this game. Um, considering, well, that's one of the reasons I put Toxic on Regix is because it's known for being a wall and a good staller, um, which is a bug one you'd want to use Toxic on, um, just to stall out so the poison really can do a lot of damage. Um, also, something I think I've mentioned, actually, no, I've mentioned, I've, I've mentioned the difference between, um, uh, poison and badly poisoning in the past, um, ooh, oh no, Shadow Ball on a, on a special wall, why can't you use it on a, on the, um, on the Psychic type? And it's not gonna be able to do anything else, so I might as well just switch back out to Kaioken, um, and let's see, Thunderbolt on Soul Rock, I guess, because it's probably, gonna, something tells me the trainer's gonna heal it, um, but anyway, as I was saying, Absol, um, not a bad Pokemon, very good, it's, I think its base attack is 130, not too bad for a, um, single stage Pokemon, um, it's a dark type, it's very, it's a very odd dark type, it doesn't, unfortunately, the best stabbed move it can get is probably gonna be, um, Bite. Bite in this game is special, so really does not work with its good attack stats, so, really probably not something you want to use, um, well, you don't want to use Bite on it, um, I mean, no, you don't want absolutely to use Bite, you don't, you, well, you also don't want to use Bite on it, because it'll resist it, blah, 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 blah. okay, you get the idea, um, anyway, um, but Absol, overall, it's not bad, I, I've used it in the past, um, but honestly, the best replacement you could possibly get for maybe using, um, Bite on that would probably be a non stab Shadow Ball, because that, oh, wait, that's, that's physical. Oh yeah, that is physical in this game, so, yeah, so, go figure, Bite and Shadow Ball, I guess, are kind of squished in this game. Um, but anyway, let's use strength on this, these boulders right here. You want to, um, push this one down, break this rock right here, and then you'll, um, actually, you don't need to break that rock, actually, but you can actually, yeah, okay. Um, okay, Repel War off, so I'll just put up another one real quick, um, that being, I believe, the fourth one, so, it's not too bad, um... Yeah, 15 might have been pushing it. Let me push that rock all the way up, and now we can head up here. I, I believe we are in the home stretch now, if I, if my map says is um, telling me the truth, which I hope it is. Um, yes, it is. As you can see, that's the tra first trainer we uh, battled earlier, the one I was wondering if um, it was a uh, Kanto trainer, just because he had a Magneton and Luck. Um, but, wait, what is he saying? The last stretch is so long? No, no it's not. I mean, we're probably five minutes from getting, well, I don't know, maybe about five minutes, because I know there's a battle coming up that can be pretty troublesome. And it's a really jerk move that they put at the very end of the, um, Victory Road. But it, it is an optional fight coming up, so you can, you can glory in that fact. Um, but anyway, um, Cacturn is, Cacturn I've used in the past, uh, it's okay, um, to say the least. It's, it's a grass dark type, um, Unusual typing, to say the least. It's, um... Interesting. I, I don't really know what much to say about it. I know, like, one move it's known for using a lot. If, you, if any of you remember the anime and everything, like, um... J James had the pre-evolved form, which was Cacnea, and it was known for using Needle Arm. But, um... Of course, it was just another Pokemon they decided to give James in the anime that... Just, like, had, like, this crazy obsession with him, so that when it came out of the Pokeball, it had to attack him. Why is it that something that James needs to learn is like the Pokemon that he uses that really f seem to fall in love with him? He needs to choose Pokemon that aren't that dangerous. Like, say, for example, Carnivine. I tried to eat him. Now, okay, this double battle right here, I pointed this out in the last video, um, can be very difficult. I'm still going to take it in doubles because, well, I feel like it and I'm so overleveled it's not going to be a problem for me anyway. Um, and wait, what did that guy say? What is the, the victory road? Well, this is the victory road. What did you think it was? And wait, does that, was that Caitlyn like the good swimmer in the last video, but they just added an N? Seriously, they, could, they couldn't think of any other spelling? Honestly, I know at least four spellings of Caitlyn. It's really weird. Um, I don't know why they couldn't have used one of those. But anyway, um, alright, okay. 
Um, slack. Okay, the reason this battle can be a problem is both of these trainers do have slacking. So if if you play your cards wrong, you can end up facing two slackings at once, which can be a problem. Also, this guard of wild guard of war knows skill swap, which allows us to switch swap its abilities with um, slacking or you, but most likely it's going to use it on the slacking, which will take away slacking's ability that forces it to only attack every other turn, so you'd have to deal with a slacking that's attacking every turn, but it's not going to be that big of a problem, because um, a sky uppercut to the face should easily take that big pig monkey thing, lazy butt thing, I don't even know, teddy fat thing out in one shot. Um, anyway, and here comes, I believe, yeah, here's that. Here's the other slacking, so I'm figuring... Um, actually, you, you would think if it's a female, shouldn't it be called Slack Queen? Hmm. Anyway, like I said, um, Sky Uppercut should easily take it out, because Sky Uppercut is one of the coolest moves ever. Um, if I, if I haven't made it clear enough, I love the move Sky Uppercut. It's so cool. Yeah, we got a Dustlop. Dustlop's, um, it's not as good in Generation 3 as it became later, because, of course, with Generation 5 and the Aviolite boosting its both of its defenses by 50%, made it a very good Pokemon competitively. By far better than Dusk, Dusk Noir, I believe. So anyway, this guy uppercut to the face again, and taking out Slackin again. Slack King, or actually Slack Queen. But, um, actually, with that animation, the way that, like, it pushes the Pokemon back, that's a lot of power that, um... Oh, cool, level 61. That's a lot of power that Blaziken must be packing if it's able to, like, punch that and... Oh, the Dusk knows skill swap, too. Okay, so, um... Wait a minute, what, what ability would I have gotten? Well, now like it's really gonna matter, so let's just use Flamethrower on you and then Shadow Ball on it. This should be our last turn in a battle for the Victory Road, because this is the final stretch. Woo! And then I gotta also gotta see what that guy was talking about with, like, is this, what is the Victory Road? Let's see, um, uh, is this what he's, okay, well done, okay. I wanna know what he, I wanna know what, I wanna know what he's talking about. Getting through here safely, that's the final test of any trainer aiming to become the Pokemon Champion. That's why it's called the Victory Road. Well, no, duh. Why else would they call it that? Um, anyway, we are finally out here on Victory Road, and we are here in Evergrande City. For real. Well, actually, okay. Funny thing is, um, if you look on the map, um, let's just pull that out real quick. As you can see, Evergrande City, um, let's zoom in real quick. You can see it's like two little spaces. As you can see on the map here, there, it shows the two sections. If you fly to, if, when you use fly, if you specifically click on the lower section, it flies you to the beginning of Victory Road, like that little Pokemon at the center. If you fly to the top section, it actually takes you here, where you really do want to go. Um, also, if, if, you, if you were curious like me and you were checking out this stuff like on the uh, map and everything, you notice that some of the options don't make sense why they're there, like the Battle Tent or something like that, but the Pokemon Contest, like, especially when the Pokemon Contest is only in one town. I think that's just because it was carried over from Ruby and Sapphire, where, um, anywhere that there was a Battle Tent in Emerald, what, it was a contest hall in Ruby and Sapphire. I honestly didn't know that, because the fact is, I've never, well, I've played Ruby and Sapphire, but really not that far into I haven't really played far enough to really see some of those major differences, besides aesthetic differences, um, like with costume differences. But anyway, let's go on and check inside here in the Pokemon League headquarters. And as you can see, there is the Pokemon Center and a Pokemart, kind of like how they would be combined in Generation 5, which made it a lot more convenient for a lot of people, and I admit, I, just because I was playing Pokemon White during part of this um, playthrough, um, I did get confused a couple times, and I would go into the Pokemon Center hoping to buy items. But right here, we this is the gym checkpoint. Um, well, the badge checkpoint. If you remember, um... Actually, wait, did I mention it? Okay, no, that was, that was in the failed corner. It is actually possible to go through Victory Road and everything without all the badges. Because, um, if you remember, when I went to go get my all the stuff from my low tick, I actually skipped the Fortress Gym to go all the way down to Lily Cove City, which I could have just continued the story on from there. Um... As you remember, there was the guys that go, would go to Mount Pyre, so you could continue on the story from there. You could continue, you could finish the story um, and everything without even taking on the Fortry Gym. So, and sing it, thing is, you would still be allowed to take on the Mosty Gym. You could still take on the Sutopolis Gym, and once you beat the Sutopolis Gym, you could use Waterfall and everything, so you could access um, Victory Road. But once you got up to this point, well, you'd have to. Um, go back and get those badges, because these guys will check to see if you have all the badges, as we'll see right here. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm you have all the gym badges. Silence, and never mind. Trainer, believe in yourself and, and Pokemon, and go forth. 
but we will be doing that in the next episode. Um, so yeah, next time on Pokemon Emerald. And I I want I want more epic music when I do this. Okay, I fixed it so. Or eh, this this works too. Anyway, in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, we will take on the Elite Four, the final challenge of the Pokemon League, and become the Pokemon League champion. Which is just puts us on another step to becoming a Pokemon master. See you guys in the next episode.